Bob and I haven't been here to Kachuma in like months. Well, actually Bob was here, but I haven't been here in so long. The water level dropped, I mean, earlier this year it was like 50% maybe, but now it's at what? 30? 30. It's really dropped, I'd say maybe what, uh, at least since then, at least 15 feet. Maybe more. Maybe more. It's incredible. And then, so we're on this launch ramp and we're driving, driving, driving on basically this this road that's typically submerged. And they have a whole system now where when you launch and you bring your truck back, it's so far from the gate or the launch area that uh, is normally there that they have shuttles. They have shuttle trucks that take you back down because it's probably a, a, a good half a mile to get to the launch ramp or the new launch ramp because the water level is so low. You guys remember where I lost my rod uh, when I tipped the kayak? That area is high and dry. <laughs> I'm not gonna go get that rod because it's a, quite the hike to get there now, but I don't know. We're gonna fish a little bit. We're gonna see if we can't get a little bit of trout because um, Bob's battery on his boat's dead, so we need to uh, run it a little bit to get that cranking battery back up. And then uh, we're gonna do some bass fishing. We're just gonna have a fun day on the lake. Bob hasn't been able to fish as much, but we're gonna get it done today. I hope so, sir, I hope so. Let's <laughs> see. But look at this launch ramp. It's way back in here. And if we look way over there, that's the main launch ramp, way over there. And then that's where you check in and then you can see that little truck right there. That's the truck that once I take this truck and trailer back up there, they're gonna give me a ride back so that I can get back on this boat. But by that time, Bob's already gonna have this thing all jump started and everything. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, worst case scenario, we'll just hit the trolling motor and just bass fish the whole time. But I have faith that Bob's gonna get this thing running by the time I get back. Are you good? Well, I can't get it started park it no matter what we can fish on the trolling motor okay our friend's ready to give us a lift how is the shuttle system working it works out all right as long as we don't have a bunch at one time you know also we've been getting them to go down the launch ramp three and drop off like you be dropped off and then you don't have to get the shuttle you can walk up there because you're close oh that makes sense you know that makes that cuts off a good quarter mile walk. quarter mile walk it is yeah uphill too yeah no no thank you <laughs> <laughs> anything else about the lake that's changed yeah we're down to 31 percent and uh watch the wind today because the wind's been coming up the last couple days oh, okay okay all right Sweet. thank you brother no appreciate problem. it yep well bob do i hear a motor no no all trolling motor today might be Oh, geez. We'll see what happens. <laughs> oh, shoot. I kind of had a feeling. All right, so we're trolling, motoring out of here. Bob's got a drop shot tied on, and we weren't able to get the engine going. So what we're doing is we're just letting it rob some power from the trolling motor batteries to try to charge the cranking battery. Hopefully that works and we can just idle around and charge the cranking battery. Bob's just pointing out that we're usually sitting on the edge of this drop off right here and pulling bass off. The water's usually like, uh, shoot, like 20 foot up there, huh? So we're, we're minus like 35 feet, like from where we're sitting right now. That's crazy, yeah. I, you know what, I'm really optimistic that we're gonna get some rain though this year. So hopefully we'll be back to the glory days. Now that we were all trolling motor power only and not able to go around the lake, we decided to bass fish. We bass fished for a few hours and Bob got two fish, but after a while, I had to try to jumpstart that engine one more time. That was awesome. Bob randomly is like, hey, should we try again? Cause we were failing. <laughs> we were like- you see the voltage when we did that? Uh, no, I wasn't it, paying- This time it went over 16. 
Yeah, solid. Maybe we just didn't have it set up right uh, the first times. That's great. Well, since the bass weren't cooperating, we're gonna switch gears and do some trout. Do some good old fashioned Bob and Edward trouting. All right, first troll in a while. It's gonna look good. Looks nice. It's coming up. It sure is. <laughs> oh, 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 he just came off. No. Yep, he just came off. We should have kept running forward. Damn it. Oh. All right, they're here. That was a good one, buddy. I know, it took forever. <laughs> so basically what we're doing is Carolina rigging needlefish different weights the middle one has a half ounce weight so it goes down deeper not put out as far and then the ones on the side are put out way out there but with quarter ounce weights with six pound leaders to the needlefish that's what we're doing that's crazy that it got hooked up right there that's huh we've never really hook up right there but it's probably because it's the levels I mean look how high <laughs> the water line is it's like a good 40 feet huh there it is on the rainbow no you 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 I'll drive I'll drive I'll drive we'll just keep it in gear this time <laughs> No, it's off again. No, no, he's there. He's there. up, 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 up. Got him. Dinner. Winner, winner on the rainbow. Rainbow. Yeah, he didn't feel nearly feel as big as that last one, bud. What do we yeah. want to do? Go back through there, right? No, you got bit on this corner, so I mean, we don't even need to come all the way here anymore. No. I think you got bit over there, so if we can start making left and then go back that way or you mean if we we're gonna concentrate on this area specifically I don't know what's even our depth here 70 foot oh right here yeah over there it was like 45 because you got bit right like right over there right yeah because we ended up almost in that corner <laughs> that's a nice one dude i'm barely moving it that's a good fish that is a good fish that's a big fish oh That's monster. That's a big fish. That is a big fish. He just breached. Yeah, I just switched out this color. Um, he's not gonna like this. He's not gonna like the sound of this motor, but get ready. That's a big one. That's a big one. Come on the side. Uh, yeah. Where are you going? Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect, perfect. It's a big one. Yeah. Oh my god.
No, no, no. Go on that side, go on that side. Oh, no, no, never mind. Get in, get in, get in. Oh, hook popped out, hook popped out, hook popped out, hook popped out, hook popped out. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, new PB! Oh, look at that big one! Look at that big old trout! Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! Snap! Wow! Wow! We need a big camera for this. Oh yeah, that's like, a, that's like an eight pounder, bro. Look at that trout. That is crazy. Woo! We don't have a scale on board, so we're not gonna be able to tell, but he's a big one. That was insane. First bite on that Phoenix rod. Uh, Bob got hit on his um, rainbow color, which is still in this fish's mouth. The line snapped as I was pulling him towards the net. Oh, that was sick. Big trout, boys. Big New trout. PB. New PB. Oh, oh shoot. Go, go, you, 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 you. Oh, oh. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Nice. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice. Tiny. Good one. Nice. Very nice. All right. Yeah. Woo. Number seven. Number seven. Seven in the box. On the rainbow. Rainbow needlefish, rainbow color. That's what's been the ticket today. Big and small, it catches them all. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, I mean, we turned it around, that's for sure. And Edward got his new PB, that's nice. So, yeah, pretty successful, I would say. But we're always pretty lucky when it comes to the trout, I guess. <laughs> yeah. The reports out here haven't been the best, but like I was telling June on the way up here, it was probably the rain. The cold rain, the nights have been cold too. When the rocks get rained on and the rocks are really cold, comes into the main lake, it really drops that temperature. And that's what trout like. They like that colder temperature. And we were trolling three miles an hour on that rainbow flick of shad. And that's like all they wanted today. Needlefish. Oh. <laughs> Needlefish, not flicker shad. Rainbow needlefish. So give that a shot. Six pound test on a Carolina rig. Quarter ounce weight, swivel, all the good stuff. And we were getting bit all on the spinning gear. So something that you all probably have. If you can get one of the rentals out here, they're still doing that program, but the water level is extremely low. So hopefully you guys appreciate this little update uh, on Kachuma. It actually turned out to be a really good, great fishing day. I'll leave a link right here if you guys want to see some more Kachuma Lake action from last season. But we're going to try to do this a little bit more often. And surf perch and then some rock fishing before the end of the season. We'll catch you guys later.